feel like this is one of the biggest moments of my handbag buying career. In fact, could possibly be the biggest one. I'm so happy with them. I think they look so cool. It's from Nasty Girl. I hate to tell you, mm. it was hundreds. Or maybe I should like start selling feet pictures. Apparently you can get quite good money for those. So, are you ready for a little unboxing? Good morning, everybody. I am currently in my car, which I'm sure you're all aware because you can see me in it. I am actually sitting just down the road from my nan's house. If you watched my last vlog, you know that I am coming to see my nan for the first time since COVID happened. So I've not seen my nan since Christmas of 2019. She doesn't know I'm coming. I've come to surprise her. I did also mention in my last vlog, but basically my nan is 85. That's the reason we haven't seen her. I have obviously been living in Kent which is three and a half hours away from here and then obviously I moved to London and it's just been really difficult and also hard to know if it's kind of been safe to see her all of my proper family like my cousins my auntie my uncle etc all actually live in Coventry so we are the only part of the family that live down in Kent so she sees everyone else it's not like she's lonely or anything like that and it's got to the point now where she's had both her vaccines she's as safe as she's possibly going to be I did a COVID test just before I left mine and it says I am negative so yeah here i am i'm gonna stay i think like a couple of nights i have such a busy week so i can't stay for too long um but it's just gonna be great to see her i know a lot of you guys love my nan very much so i'll try and get her on vlog as much as possible um and i'll try and film i'm kind of like scared i'm gonna scare her though i mean i don't know i don't want to shock her too much you know um so yeah i'll try and film when i get there guys i couldn't really show you the footage when i first came in because nan what did you look like when i first turned up <laughs> well, i had my pajamas on uh, my dressing gown and all the sheets off the bed ready to go in the washing machine <laughs> she didn't look her glam self but no. since <laughs> we've got a new outfit on and do you want to talk everyone through the outfit yes <laughs> um this outfit just pan down for you all and it's really glamorous isn't it well i think it is it really is really glamorous. glamorous and it's from nasty girl See, it's so cool. <laughs> and then she's accessorized with this scarf. This isn't from Nasty Girl though, is it? No. 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 This is just a little something else with a little brooch. It's about 40 years old, the scarf. I don't know where it's from. <laughs> Show everyone your nails as well. Let's see. Let's see, hands. See, painted nails. And also we need to show the toes and sandals. I mean, always glam. Were you surprised to see me today? Oh. It was wonderful. <laughs> it was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I don't think she liked the look of her nan when she arrived. <laughs> but you look good now. We're gonna, but we're about to go out for some lunch, aren't we? Well, I think yes. it'll probably be kind of dinner by the time we go. But yes, we're going to go out for whatever it is a bit later than lunch. And also, my nan's been showing me like round the kitchen because it all got changed since I was last here. These cabinets used to be. Do these be? Brown. brown yeah that was it so she's had them all painted white i actually just need to quickly just show you the door handles like this is so my nan as you can tell <laughs> loves a bit of sparkle so even the door handles have got to have a little bit of sparkle but it looks so different she was going to get a whole new kitchen but kind of just thought it was pointless just come and have a look a little bit at the garden oh yeah i'll show you the garden um with the pond that my uncle kind of did all the water feature and stuff she's very proud of her garden aren't you nan yes always looks very beautiful my granddad used to spend a lot of time out here didn't oh, he, he? Did. doing it all i've had to keep it because of granddad really yeah he'd have been really mad if you hadn't have done he'd it so look, here's my little gramps yes. and my nan yeah that's that's at home isn't it at our house that's... my nan has just wanting to show me a blazer it's actually really nice do you know what it looks like she doesn't really want me to show you the bed because the bed's unmade but we're just here anyway i love it do you love it, it looks like um you know those sweets? What are those sweets? You know, to like fruit. Not licorice all sorts. No, not licorice. But uh, oh my god, what are they called? Fruit something. Fruit salads. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the sweet. That's a fruit salad. So what did you buy this for? It wasn't for an event. It was no. just for life. No, I bought it. Oh, I thought you said it was for a wedding. No, no, no. no. I bought it when I was in not Zurich. Mm -hmm. Geneva. Oh, okay. What, when you went with your friend Vi? Yes. Oh. In Geneva. 
Well, it's very nice. Everybody thinks. It looks kind of small though, you know. Oh, I don't think it's small. Let me try it on. How many years ago did you buy it? Oh, um, It still fits you. 20. I've never worn it. I only wore it a couple of times when I had it. It's gorgeous. It's so nice, honestly. I, I genuinely really love it. And you know what, as well, at the moment, all these colours are so in, like the pastels in it. It's got a little bit of something on it, though, you know. Can you see that? Oh, yes. So yeah. you just get it dry cleaned. I hate to tell you, mm. it was hundreds. What, of pounds? Hundreds of pounds. Was it? <laughs> I bet Grandad wasn't best pleased. Well, he wouldn't know. <laughs> You know what I used to do? Mm. I used to go to town on a Saturday. Yeah. And I used to go to a shop, a dress shop called Hamels. Mm. And I used to come back with bags and bags <laughs> and hid them under the stairs. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of people out there that Did. do that from their husbands and then, or partners. And, or... Um, oh, much later, there was an advert on the telly years later. And it was for Sainsbury's. Yeah. And Grandad said... I have to tell you that my wife doesn't shop at Sainsbury's. She shops at Hamels. <laughs> Poor granddad. <laughs> and it was the truth. When your mum left home, she said, uh, do you want me to draw you a map of how to get to Sainsbury's? I've never been. <laughs> that was always granddad's job day. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am back from my nan's as you can tell I'm back in my apartment. I didn't actually film too much when I was at my nan's because I wasn't there for too long at all um, and I just kind of just wanted to enjoy my time with her. We went for a little bit of lunch, um, we just sat in front of her fire, can you believe the fire's on in May but anyway and just caught up and just spent like some quality time together. When I left she cried like hurt my heart a little bit can't lie um but you know what she's actually so good i mean you probably saw in this vlog um she's doing great can you believe she's 85 um and after the year we've all had she is still in good spirits and on top form um see i'm so happy i got to see her i have to say my face is looking very brown today i put a couple of the tan lux super glow no it wasn't super glow it was just the tan lux the face drops on last night before bed and also use the Tan Lux Gradual Tan, which I've actually been using for, I've been using the face drops for like two years, um, but I've been using the Gradual Tan now for a couple of months and I love it. Instead of putting on like proper thick fake tan, it's just like a moisturizer. I put it on daily and it's just kind of like more of a natural build up tan. So if you're wondering why I look so brown, that is why. Um, anyway, I've had a really exciting delivery this morning. I had a piece of art made for my wall that is over here. Um, it's like quite a big wall and it's been bare and the last tenants or whoever, it might not have been the last tenants, but someone at some point put like big hooks in the wall. So I had hooks ready made for me pretty much. Um, and I saw this amazing artist on Instagram and her name is Isabel Grace Fuller. I don't know if any of you guys have seen her. I feel like she's everywhere at the moment and she's so talented. It was quite a long wait list. I think I waited like six weeks for it, but it's incredible. And basically I told her like what colors I wanted and like what kind of textures and stuff. And she's literally just delivered it. She is the nicest girl as well. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys. It's beautiful i haven't actually like unpackaged it yet but i can see it a little bit scared about hanging it on the wall myself anyway i'm gonna show you it but also today i am going to head off shopping i'm actually in gym gear as always so i'm not like going looking all fancy or anything but i just want to try and get some new clothes it's been like a little while since i've done like a proper shop and actually bought stuff so even though my last vlog i went to zara i didn't actually buy anything i've decided i am gonna go to zara i'm gonna buy some stuff i'm also wanting to nip into cos um and other stories um, so I'm going to head to like Knightsbridge area because I quite like it there because it's not always so busy. Um, but there's also quite a good like selection of stores and there's also Harrods as well if I wanted to look at anything. A little bit more designer, you know, if I want to treat myself, which I really shouldn't be. So that might not happen, but um, never say never. Okay, so here it is. It's got a cover over it right now, but you can kind of see what vibe it's going to be. It's so huge, guys. So this is the wall it's going to go on just here. As I said, you can see like the two picture hooks already there. I'm going to move these flowers um, somewhere. I don't think it's going to look right with the painting behind. But by the way, an apartment tour is coming really soon. I kind of wanted to wait for this painting before I did an apartment tour. Because um, I just feel like it needs to finish this room off. 
and my sister also got me some really nice art for my birthday as well which also needs to go on the walls so anyway let me unpack this and we'll see what it's like don't know how well you're going to be able to see me because it's a little bit backlit but let's unpackage this <laughs> I am kind of nervous to put this up <laughs> on my own, but let's give it a go. Um, okay, I mean, how long did it possibly go? At least it's not the last, I guess. it is up honestly it looks amazing like the camera just doesn't do it any justice like it looks incredible it's kind of got like specks of gold in it and then kind of creams white beiges the textures in real life are just unreal what i need to ask you guys though do you think that these flowers look weird here do you think that i need to move the flowers what do you think do you think that looks okay with the flowers next to it or does it not look okay? Should I put like my green plant there instead? If I just move back so you can just see the pillows and stuff. Oh, it's honestly not doing it justice, but it is incredible in real life. I am currently in Zara on the King's Road. This is one of the best Zaras in my opinion. It's so good in here. Um, I am not really gonna film much because I'm probably gonna get told off and there's quite a few people around. I just got the biggest load of stuff from And Other Stories and I'm just picking up some stuff from in here as well. Um, so yeah, I feel like the biggest haul is pending, but I'm not really going to film in here because there's too many people around and people get funny when you film, which is fair enough. Um, so yeah, I will either show you in this video the haul. I feel like I need to do like a proper haul video. Guys, I've just done like the most random thing ever. I tripped and fell into Chanel. I just might have done a bad thing. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for such a long time and... I don't know why today is the day. It's not even been a special day. I'm just out on my own. Got slight anxiety about it, but at the same time, feeling a bit like I've wanted this forever. If you follow me on Instagram and watch my videos, you know how many times I've spoken about it. And I've just had a real like sod it moment today. So I thought there's going to be an unboxing really soon. <laughs> tell you i've just had oh my painting it looks so nice anyway i had yeah just the most random day i went out because i haven't shot any content and haven't bought any new clothes in quite a long time for me um because the weather here has been so rubbish and i just wanted to like revamp my spring summer wardrobe um so that was my goal today just to go out and go and yeah find some new bits that i like did a really good job. I went to Zara and and other stories. I also went to Cos as well, but didn't buy anything from there. And yeah, and then also went into Dior. Tried on the Lady Dior, which I really like, but also think it's too similar to my um, YSL Sac de Jour bag, which I'll just show you, just so you kind of get the idea. This is my YSL Sac de Jour, um, and it's pretty much the same colour, the Lady Dior. And I really like it, but I didn't... I don't know, I do really like it, but like, I don't love it, you know? Anyway, you guys, as I said when I was in the Chanel store, no, I have wanted, I was, don't know where I put it, a Chanel bag for such a long time, and as I say, it's the most random day to have done it, but um, I did it. I did it, guys. I did a bad thing, and here we are. So yeah, I will unbox that in another video, um, but also... Yeah, I just have like some really great things to show you that I picked up from Zara and the rest of the places. Anyway, I am in a rush because I have got, what is the time? By the way, you know, I didn't actually mention this before, but 
do you remember I got an Apple Watch for Christmas, bought it for myself, Christmas present for myself, and um, yeah, I love it so much, like it was genuinely one of my best purchases, anyway, it is currently 20 to 4, um, I need to have left mine by half 5, dinner is at 6 o'clock, have I told you that I'm going for dinner with ASOS this evening, um, which will be really nice, um, we're going to a nice restaurant in Mayfair, it is called Sexy Fish, I have a nice outfit which is also from ASOS so yeah I need to get in the shower I need to wash my hair I've honestly had in my hair a Kerastase hair mask for about three days I want to say like literally I hope my hair is going to feel amazing when all this is washed out but um yeah love that Kerastase hair mask I'll show you what it is in a minute so yeah I just have a lot to do before I need to leave I have just had a shower and used this new um, L'Oreal Alviv, and it says it's like a mask. Like it feels on your hair like a mask, but it is a shampoo. It cleanses like a shampoo. Do you know what? So 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 nice. Um, yeah, it's made my hair feel really really good. Even because usually when I get out of the shower, like my hair is really knotty and stuff, but it actually doesn't feel like that. So yeah, first time using it, and have to say it's really good. It also comes in. So this one's the one for long damaged hair, and then you've got one for dry hair, and then also one for coloured hair as well. So yeah, couple of other things that I've been using on my hair just recently. Sorry, I've had to bend down so you can see me. Is this? So this is the Kerastase Blonde Absolute. I think that's what it's called. Basically, I just put a few pumps on to my hand and then just run it through the ends of my hair when my hair is damp and it just makes my hair feel really really good it's just like an oil um i sometimes put it in when it's dry as well if it's feeling dry you know and after i've done that it also smells really good kerastar stuff honestly smells unreal and after that from the same range this is a leave-in conditioner it just makes my hair look so much less frizzy and just in better condition i'm going to quickly show you the mask that i used this is like the overnight mask that i used it's called the eight hour magic night serum and um yeah also uh, to be fair i just i rate Kerastar stuff so highly <laughs> like they are one of my favorite hair brands and um yeah i just feel like they are the dream pretty much well hello everybody this is another one of those vlogs that has been spread over like an entire week it is currently saturday today and i think the last time we spoke it was tuesday which is a little bit bad from me um i went to the asos dinner which i didn't take any footage of i got extremely drunk by accident like it I didn't mean to get drunk, but I feel like because I'm sort of a year out of practice of drinking, I mean, don't get me wrong, I have drank a little bit over the last year, but like not properly drank, like going out, I just don't know my limits. And I swear I had a few wines. I mean, we did have quite a few tequila shots and um, I do not even remember getting home, which is a little bit worrying. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a good day. I then just... I've never been that hungover in all of my life, I might add. It was the worst hangover I've ever, ever, ever had. And then I just spent a week trying to chase my tail and catch up with everything that I didn't do on that day. Um, and there was literally nothing to vlog. I haven't done anything exciting other than I went to one Pilates class last night. And that was it. I haven't done anything since. I haven't seen anyone since. And it is currently a Saturday. Um, but I am actually going out today. I'm going to meet my friend Abby, who I think you guys have seen on vlog before. Yeah, you definitely have. And you know her from her food page on Instagram. Um, but before I do, I just decided, you know, the other day I did a little bit of a spontaneous Chanel shop. Chanel shop, that's a bit of a mouthful to say. Um, and I said, oh, I'll unbox it in another video. Well, I decided, why am I waiting for another video to do this? I may as well just do it in this vlog. So, are you ready for a little bit of an unboxing? Very exciting. By the way, actually, there's one thing I did do this week, other than work. One evening, I went to go and get my nails done. So basically, I've been looking for a nail salon in South West London, which is the area that I live in, since I moved here and just haven't been able to find anywhere. I've actually been going back to my nail girl in Kent, because I literally love her. Um, but I wasn't going back anytime soon, and my nails were in desperate need of being done. So I ended up going to a place in Fulham called Nail Base. And you know I'm like really always very boring. I'm either like white, black or nude nail girl or like a classic French tip. Well, I saw this design on Pinterest and I just thought I'm going to ask and see if they can do it. Well, they came through and 
I feel like they look great. I mean, you might not all be big fans of them, but I'm so happy with them. I think they look so cool. So basically it's like a modern French manicure because it's just like a natural colour base and then the white is just slightly designed on it. How good are they? I'm so impressed. I got my toes done as well. And price-wise, it wasn't that bad either. By the way, I just want to apologise for the absolute state of my hair, but I just couldn't be bothered to do it today because I'm going out tomorrow and, yeah, this is just where we're at. Anyway, no one cares about my hair because we all care about what is inside this bag. I feel like this is one of the biggest moments of my handbag buying career. In fact, could possibly be the biggest one. So I'm not going to like really drag it out too much. We're just going to get strapped with the unboxing. So obviously it comes in this kind of carrier bag. I feel like they've changed the carrier bags. They're a lot more papery than they used to be. I feel like they used to be a lot more kind of like shiny. Um, they just, in my opinion, feel a little bit different. So I have already unboxed the bag. Might have already worn it once as well. Um, but, well, only for like photos. I'm a bit too scared to wear it out in real life. I don't know if I trust myself. So yeah, the box doesn't look how it looked when I first got it. Because it did have like a lovely ribbon all over it. But here is the Chanel box. And then as I open it up, this is kind of a rough idea of what it looked like before I kind of destroyed it. I didn't want to rip the tissue paper, so I very carefully peeled the top sticker off. And you open it up like this, I feel like I'm gonna get makeup all over the tissue paper. And then it kind of looked like this. And then you pull away this tissue and like the chain is wrapped in this as well, if I remember rightly. So let me just pull this out of the way. And then I revealed to you the dust bag so let me take out i mean i feel like anyone that's watched my videos before knows exactly what bag this is about to be take your bets in the comments right now but i feel like most of you will know also inside of the box they kind of do this really fancy concertina tissue paper at the bottom to pad it out which is like a work of art in itself don't know if you can see that then there is the chanel i guess it's all like the authenticity authenticity is that the right way to say it like booklet and certificates and all of the rest of that good stuff oh there was also i need to show you this there was also one of these camellia is that what it's called camellia camellia why can't i say anything like literally it's so embarrassing there was one of those flowers on the front of the box but somehow it's got stuck to the bottom of my prada loafer and when i mean it's stuck it's like super glued itself to the bottom of my shoe like yeah Anyway, by the way, if you're looking at this and thinking this girl's fake tan is so bad, it's true, it is really bad because it's about six day old tan, which is so gross, but I'm actually fake tanning tonight, so all of this needs scrubbing off, so please ignore the state of my wrists. Anyway, inside of this dust bag is, are we ready? Dun, dun, dun. It is the Chanel Classic Flap in the medium size, with the caviar which is the grained leather i mean i have dreamed of this bag for so many years can't really quite believe that it's mine i mean like wow so i went for the gold hardware because all of my jewelry that i wear is gold and i'm very much a gold girl rather than a silver girl used to always wear silver though when i was younger but nowadays always gold i also went for the caviar leather because as many of you know i got the trendy over a year ago now and that has the lambskin and although the lambskin leather is stunning it is a nightmare it scratches so much and it kind of makes me semi hate my trendy because every single time i use it she gains a new scratch i can't be dealing with that i'm someone that likes to keep my things in really great condition so when they get all scratched up that gives me anxiety. So for me, it was an absolute no-brainer. It was going to be the caviar leather for this without question. So I want to be able to use it all of the time. And yeah, I don't want to have to worry about it scratching and stuff. I also do really, really love the caviar leather. And also my Chanel card holder is in the caviar skin as well. And I just find that is so durable. Like I don't even think it's got a single scratch on it. And it literally gets abused. <laughs> so it's obviously got the double flaps. You've got the top flap, the double one. I haven't actually even taken the stuffing out of the inside. As I say, I am a little bit scared to use it. The price of it was absolutely disgusting. I feel like it's going to take me a long time to get over that, to be honest. I have wanted this bag for so long, though. And rumour has it there's going to be another price increase in June. And last year, so I was going to buy this bag last year, but ended up buying my Trendy instead. And when I was going to buy it... 
I believe this bag at the time was £4,600 at the start of 2020 and during 2020 it went up a whole thousand pounds which just makes me sick and I just know it's going to keep going up and up and up and yet it's absolutely pained me to buy it. Um, but I feel like it's an investment. These bags do go up in price and as long as you keep them nice. I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to sell it anyway, but as long as you keep them nice, there is always that potential to sell it. And sometimes you end up selling them for more money than you actually bought them for. But it's stunning. I feel like I needed it in my collection. I did actually sell quite a few things like trainers and stuff like that in order to buy it, which is what I always do usually when I'm like buying new things. I sell a few old things to justify my purchase. I'm just going to pop her on crossbody just so you can see like the length as well. Also, just to give you a rough idea of where the bag sits. So as you can see, it sits like right on your hip. So it's quite a short chain on it, which I do actually really like because I don't like them when they're too long because they become a bit annoying. My Celine Nano is a little bit like that. It's a little bit too long. Um, so yeah, it's a really good length. And also obviously you can wear it both ways. So you can double the strap up and pop it on your arm like this as well. I feel like for me, I'm definitely going to be either like a crossbody or just on the side like this. But yeah, I haven't actually even taken the plastic off of the CC yet because I'm scared she's going to get scratched. Anyway, now even though I said I'm on a spending ban, which I am, but there's one other thing I really, really, really want to get myself, which I've been trying to get hold of for the longest time. And it's a jacket and I'm going to try my best to try and get it today. So... I'm heading out and then I literally am on a spending ban like it's got to stop. Or maybe I should like start selling feet pictures. Apparently you can get quite good money for those. And I've had a pedicure this week as well so um, you know, it's always tempting. <laughs> well hello guys, I've just been editing this vlog that you have hopefully just watched if you've got to this point. Congratulations. Uh, and just realised actually it didn't end it. I did say that I was going to take you shopping. I did go shopping and I did get something. But I am going to show you that in my next vlog. So that will be up very soon. And hopefully I will see you there. As always, thank you so much for watching. And sending you all so much love. And as I say, hopefully see you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye bye.